hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to share with you guys how to make one of my favorite dinners for an at-home special occasion the like mignon pan roasted asparagus and a cheesy loaded baked potato in case you want to make this super easy and delicious dinner just stay tuned and i'll show you how Alrighty, guys so let's get started with our ingredients so for this recipe we're going to need two filet mignons one pound of asparagus two large potatoes three garlic cloves butter olive oil one teaspoon of fresh rosemary, one teaspoon of fresh thyme, four tablespoons of peppercorn, finely shredded medium cheddar cheese, green onion, sour cream, bacon bites, ground black pepper, and salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. All right guys, so first we're going to start by preheating our oven to 400 degrees. All right, so next we're going to wash our potatoes and make sure you wash them real good and dry them. All right, so next we're going to grab a fork and we're just going to poke our potato the same to the other one. All right, so we're going to grab our olive oil and we're going to drizzle it all around our potatoes. And then we're going to sprinkle our potatoes with salt. Make sure you add a good amount. Do it to both sides. and ground black pepper. Okay, so next, make sure that both of your potatoes are evenly coated. All right, so once our potatoes are ready, we can transfer them into foil. All right, so grab your foil and wrap it around the potato. And make sure that you cover the whole potato. Okay. Do the same to the other potato. And now we're going to place them on our baking sheet and we're going to place it in our oven. Right, so we're going to put our potatoes in the oven and we're going to let them cook for about an hour. All right, so now blender, we're going to lightly crush four tablespoons of peppercorn. And you don't want to use ground black pepper because it's not going to taste the same. All right, so once we have that, we can work on our steaks. All right, so this is what your peppercorn should look like. Okay, make sure you grab all of it. And this is going to be our crust. All right, so we're going to grab a small saucepan. We're going to set it on low heat. We're going to add four tablespoons of olive oil along with our crushed pepper. All right, so we're going to mix it and we're just going to wait for the oil to begin to th make little bubbles. All right guys, so once our oil begins to bubble, we're going to let it uh, light simmer for about eight minutes. Make sure that you're moving it around so that you don't burn it. All right, so after eight minutes, we're going to turn off our oil. We're going to add one tablespoon of coarse salt. So mix it. And now we're just going to wait for our oil to cool, um, cool down. All right, so I'm just going to transfer my oil into a small bowl so like that it could cool down faster make sure you get everything all right so we're just going to wait about 10 to 15 minutes just to um for our oil to cool down and then we can transfer it into our fillets all right so to prepare our fillet we're just going to remove any fat that's around it so just be careful not to remove the meat. So just remove that fat. And just do the same to the other one. All right, so once our fillets are nice and clean, now we're just going to wait for our oil to finish cooling down. Alrighty, so once your oil has cooled down, give it a quick mix. And now we're going to place it on top of our steak. Just make sure that you press it down. Make sure you get the sides as well. Okay, so flip it over.
can do the same to the other side. So just make sure that your fillet's nicely coated with our oil and pepper. Okay, so now we're just going to cover them with plastic wrap. So just cover them. And we're going to let them sit out for one hour. I right, guess so for my asparagus, make sure that you wash them real good. And I just cut the ends. So now I'm just going to mix them in the same bowl that I prepare my potatoes. So use the leftover oil along with the salt and pepper. So as you can see, they're getting nicely coated with all of that. And then we're just going to set it to the side so we can cook them later on. All right guys, so for our fresh herbs, we're going to add two tablespoons of butter and make sure that it's at room temperature. And we're just going to mix it with the herbs. So press it down. And to that, just add a little bit of salt. And guys, so just combine everything together into a small ball like that. And then cut your ball in, in a half. So just separate it evenly. And now we're going to place it in our refrigerator. And guys, so it's been a little over an hour. So now we're going to check our potatoes. Um, they should be done. So they should be super soft. So now we're just going to remove the potatoes from the pan. And leave the pan in there. And we're going to turn up our oven to 450 degrees. All right, so at this point, our steaks should be ready. So now we are ready to cook them. All right, so we're going to grab a large frying pan. We're going to set it on medium high heat. And to that, we're going to add one teaspoon of olive oil. So we're just going to wait for that to heat up. And then we can begin. All right, so once our oil is ready, we're going to place our steaks on our pan. So now we're going to cook our steak for four minutes without moving it. All right, so after four minutes, we're going to flip our steaks over. And we're going to cook that side for another four minutes. All right, so after two minutes, we're going to flip it to the side. And we're going to cook the side for two minutes. So make sure that you cook all around. Okay, so just repeat the process to all of the sides of the steak. All right, so once our steaks are all nice and browned all around, we're going to bake them. So place them on the sheet. Now, depending on how you like your steak, then it depends on how much you're going to leave them in there for. So if you like them um, rare, leave them in there for three to five minutes, or for medium rare, five to seven minutes. All right, so I'm going to be cooking my asparagus in the same pan. So I'm going to remove um, most of the uh, pepper from here. All right, so in my pan, I'm going to add another um, tablespoon of oil along with one tablespoon of butter. So just melt the butter. All right, so now we're going to add our three um, garlic cloves, just mince them, and cook them for a couple minutes. All right, so now we're going to add our asparagus. So just move them around so they can get the flavor from the garlic. Okay, so we're going to set it on medium heat, and we're going to cover them and let them cook for about five minutes. All right, so I like my steaks medium rare, so I'm going to take them out at six minutes. So remove them from the oven. We're going to place our butter and herbs on top of our steak. All right, so I'm just going to cover them with foil and let them sit for five minutes. All right, so just keep an eye on your asparagus. We should be almost done. All right, so after five minutes, our asparagus are done. So now we are ready to serve. All right, guys, so now for the fun part, dressing our potato. We're just going to open it. 
and it should be nice and hot. So now we're just going to create a slit on top so like that we can open it. Careful because it's hot. Right, so I like to open my potato. Not open it, but like kind of cut it in between like that. So make some lines. Okay. I'm going to season it with black pepper. A little bit of salt. I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter. Then we're going to add the cheese. Make sure you add a good amount. I'm going to add some bacon bites. And of course the toppings is going to be up to your liking. Some green onions. And of course some sour cream. Okay. So now we're just going to remove it from the foil. So like that, it's nice and presentable. Okay, so remove your potato from the foil. Just like that. And now we can get our steak and asparagus and put it in our plate as well. All right, so grab your asparagus. Place them in your plate. So our steaks should be ready. So grab your steak, place it on your plate. And now we are ready to enjoy a delicious dinner. What do you guys for the best part? Look at that, super tender. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I am so ready. My meat, so juicy, so ready. Mm-hmm. Mm. Seriously, the best steak I have ever tasted. So flavorful, so juicy, tender, the best. Mm. Everything's just full of flavor. Asparagus, my favorite. So good. Seriously, I hope you give it a try and enjoy it. Get the candles ready, the roses, it's on. <laughs> Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make my special dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.